Today's video is brought to you by DoorDash and Bespoke Post. Sweet summertime. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Okay. Seems like a good cold, cold open. Yeah. Hey, hey brother, brother! And welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Benmore. Today we are taking on the ultimate Harry Potter summer vacation, or I guess as they call it in the UK, holiday quiz. <sighs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Way to make it coherent yeah, for all. Exactly. Here we go. Hey, brother. Hey guys, Ben here, you know, from the scenic route and Super Carlin Brothers and Jay versus Ben. I'm usually the one losing. Um, I wanted to come to you with a special offer we have going on over on our Patreon between now and August 20th, where if you sign up at the Quizmaster tier, you will actually get a signed Scenic Route postcard by both Jay and I. It's going to be super fun. I've, I've so appreciated you guys supporting this goofy way that we've decided to do the brand deals. I hope it makes them just that much more tolerable. If you want to check it out, you can do so over at patreon.com slash Super Carlin Brothers. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our buddy Ethan is on the other end of the camera and he is going to be reading us today's 10 quiz questions plus four quiz master questions from our patrons over on Patreon. Yes, and Ben and I will have to answer all of the questions completely by memory, but if we have just absolutely no idea and we agree, Ethan can tell us the multiple choice. If you'd like to play along with us, we've also included a link to this quiz in the description down below. Ben, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Can I just show you guys this artwork Ben did on a plane like over a year ago that I'm just finding on here? I don't know. What's it a logo for? I'm not exactly sure. Tell me, tell me in the comments what this is a logo for. Maybe it just looks like a cool shirt, if anything. Okay, it could be a shirt. It's like Ethan, would you wear that shirt? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> good I obligated. Good, yeah, absolutely. Good answer. <laughs> Excellent. No, wait, I do need to be in that app. Don't destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> Delete. Deletrius. Question one. In Philosopher's Stone, what school did Harry think he was going to attend after the summer holidays? Oh, man. Okay, okay. All right, Dudley's going to, like, knobbly stick high or something. I think that is what they call it. Yeah. And this is... Um, uh, no, that I'm, I'm very tempted to put like a very American set. It's like... You're going... I, I, like, I'm like barely there. It's the one where he's going to have to wear the clothes that look like... Elephant over skin. Bit, yeah, oversized elephant skin. All right. All right. Three, two, one. I said Stonewall High. I said St. Brutus's School for Troubled... Youth. Oh, I don't know. Right. That. Nope. Uh, Jay's correct. Yeah. Stonewall High. Yeah, because this is a prisoner, right? Yes. That's where they're going to send him then. St. Brutus's, they... Brutus's School for Incurably Criminal Boys. Exactly. That's where they tell on Marge Harry's going to go. Oh, that's, that's not my... written here, by the way. I just knew that. <laughs> wow. wow. I don't know Wait, why. What was it? Say it again. St. Brutus's School for Incurably Criminal Boys, okay. I believe. You I'm know not what? convinced that's not going to come up later, and I'm not convinced I'm not going to forget it now that you said it. I am a little bit upset. You D are? Dudley yeah. was going to Smeltings, by the way. Smeltings. I'm pretty sure it was called Nobly Stick. Huh? Well, they had the smelting stick mm -hmm. that yeah. they hit yeah. people with. You say so. Question two. When Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley for the first time, what flavor ice cream did he buy for him? Oh. Um, when Hagrid took Harry. I think that's it. I think that's it. This is what came to mind first, and if it's wrong, I, this is just what was floating around in there. This is what came to mind first for me. So okay. three, two, one. So strawberry. I said butter pecan. Butter pecan. Wrong. Oh. oh. Was it chocolate? It was chocolate and raspberry with chopped nuts. Ah, I almost said strawberry with nuts, but then I didn't, and that would have been wrong too. And now for our first Patreon quiz master question of the game. To get your question in the quiz or to vote on questions for the quizzes, go to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the Quizmaster tier. This question was submitted by Malcolm and selected by the patrons. Question. What is the name of the street where the famous what you fell over for moment takes place? Ooh, I might know this. Do you know? Do you know it? Uh, well, I have a guess. Is it not just... Does Malcolm have two L's? 
Oh, I accidentally erased Malcolm. half your name, Malcolm. Malcolm does, does have two L's, yeah. How about Mal- it? Right How here. about it? M-A-L-C-O-L-M. I added the L back. It I, looks bad. I appreciate your thoughts on the chaos theory. Yeah. That's a Jurassic Park reference, in case you didn't know. Life finds Life, a way. Life uh, finds a way. <laughs> I think you added the Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Life uh, finds a way. And Jeff Goldblum doesn't even play characters. He's just Jeff Goldblum. He's just Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. And I love him for that. Th- has, is this like a trick question? It can't be. But is it? I think I know what he thinks it is. How embarrassing. Unless I, I got it wrong, in which case, <laughs> even more embarrassing. Yeah, right. it's, I've definitely got it wrong. Oh man, you wanna know what I, this is the reason I'm getting things wrong. Oh, I noticed wow. that you wear glasses, so mm. you know, non-prescription. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, I think I just got smarter. All right, you ready? Yeah. This is going to be a good omen because I totally got it right with Magnolia Crescent. Oh, uh, I just put Privet Drive. Magnolia like, Crescent yeah, is correct. Magnolia <laughs> Crescent's correct. Man, all right. I'm going to need you to take those glasses right off. Although, I guess you wrote that down before you put them on, so who's to say? It's because they were near. It's because they were nearby. But I definitely wouldn't have gotten that. that so are we all tied up then? That stinking ice cream question, correct? Me neither. Question three. In Prisoner of Azkaban, where did Harry spend the last two weeks of his summer vacation? <laughs> like... This feels, is this like too straightforward to be? Okay. You got it. You got it. Maybe. Come on, glasses. Think, think, I think, think. I got it. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah. Three, two, one. The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron. The Leaky Cauldron. That's in London. With Tom the Barman. There are a lot of Toms. That's two, two. Question four. In the summer holidays before Harry's second year, who were visiting the Dursleys? The night Dobby used a hover charm. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, oh, oh, the... That's not right. Mm, think, I can so think of this. I feel like if I had multiple choice, I'd have it all day. Oh, I could, I think you're right. But can I think of it anyway? Can I think of it anyway, people? It's right out there. It's right there. Swirling. It's 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 like going down the drain. It's like a soft. But is that drain gonna come out into my into my thought space or just like way deeper into my brain? That's a good question. Where do the drains in your brain go? Where do your brain drains? Where does your brain drain? That seems like a kid's book. It does. Where does your brain drain? What is the answer to this stupid question? This is so obvious. This is not a hard question. It's not hard. Do you want the multiple choice? Do you want the multiple choice? Yeah, let's do it. You will get it. I know that we'll get it. Uh, The multiple choice answers are Mr. and Mrs. Miller, Mr. and Mrs. Matthews, Mr. and Mrs. Marsh, or Mr. and Mrs. Mason. Yep. Yeah, I got it. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Mason. Mason. Mason, indeed, is correct. I no kid you gosh, not. Darn. I listened to this chapter yesterday, and I could not remember that. I, I thought you I must have. <laughs> so annoyed that I could not think of it. All I could think of was Martin. Yesterday. That's your, that's your in-laws name and i was like there's no way he wouldn't know martin i wrote down baxter so i wasn't even <laughs> close <laughs> baxter <laughs> like because they're rich like the baxter but i don't know i man i, I don't get that reference that's where the fantastic four lives is the baxter building oh yeah i knew that yeah the baxters purchasers of drills next j versus ben fantastic four questions oh no, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah chris evans and now for the second Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Caden Medwid and selected by patrons. Question. In the Chamber of Secrets, when Harry and the Weasleys are heading to King's Cross Station, they have to turn around multiple times because they left things behind. How many times did they return to the burrow? For a bonus point, what items did they retrieve? Oh, man. Um... Boy, I have no idea about the items in particular. How are you feeling over there? Are the glasses helping? Maybe. Yeah? Maybe. Can you see things clearly? Clearly, because they're clear. Yeah, because they're clear. Yeah. Let's think here. Let's think. I normally can't put myself in this direction. Right. Sometimes that awakens the sleeping mind. You're like, oh my god, pets! Oh, no, I'm fine. Never mind, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. 
because I'm wearing safety lenses. Exactly. Um, safety lenses. <laughs> we do have open flames here, you know, say safety first. How close can you get? Can you can you burn yourself into remembering the answers? <laughs> Come on, brain, think! Don't try this at home, people. Do not try it at home. Okay, but the candles are available at carlymotherscoffee.com. Each one comes with a magically themed charm. That's true. It's inside of the wax. You inside, yeah, to burn yeah, it, it down. It takes a while, but you know, eventually you'll find it. There was a dragon in my last one. It was cool. Yeah. I had a wand in one of mine. Ooh. The wands are big. They're like, donkey. Uh, that's sh- three, two, one. I said three. I said three as well. And then I put... Uh, Percy's prefix badge, Ginny's books, and Fred and George's fireworks. I said Fred's broom and Ginny's diary and Ron's trunk. Oh. Okay, so it is three. You both got that right. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Uh, the answers are George's box of filibuster fireworks. Hey, that's pretty good. Fred's hey. broomstick. Oh. And Ginny's diary. Wow. I think we should both give ourselves a point for that. I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, yeah. it means nothing. It means nothing because we both get it. But I'm pretty proud of us. Yeah, I put, I mean, I put Ginny's books instead of diary, but. Question five. Okay. What word did Harry use to describe the burrow on his first visit during the summer holidays? What, what word? What single word? What single word did he use to describe the burrow? I mean, he describes it in many ways. Is it like a sentence? No. I think it's in a sentence. It's in a sentence? I think, well, it's so, it, I only have words here. I have, I have four words. Total. One for each choice. But I, I believe it's in a sentence. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Five. That was way too many times to count. Three, two, one. I said wonderful. I said brilliant. The answer is brilliant. Ah! Yes. I, I think Ron says something like, you know, it's not much, but it's home or whatever. And Harry goes, it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> I was thinking of the sentence, I think it's the most wonderful home I've ever seen. Question six. Okay. What was the name of the water skiing budgie that Harry saw on the news when watching from the Dursley's flower bed in Order of the Phoenix? This quiz is killing me. What is the name of the... <laughs> Whoever was writing this quiz, they had a bad morning. They were yeah, like, they were like oh, this <laughs> is it. <laughs> it's on. All right. It is on. This is worse than the all Quizmaster one we did. Do you yeah. want yeah. the multiple choice? I would take the multiple okay. choice. Okay. Water multi- skiing s- squirrel, probably. That's probably. what I'm thinking. So our multiple choice questions are Bruce, Benji, Bungie, perhaps, or Bungie, B-U-N-G-Y, and Bobby. Okay. okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said B, Benji. I also said B, Benji. It's C, Bungie. <laughs> or Bungie. Well, I knew, I definitely knew it wasn't Bruce or Bob or whatever the last one was. It would have been wild if it was Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby the Budgeriboo. And now for the third Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. And remember, if you sign up for the Quizmaster tier by August 20th, you will get your very own Scenic Route postcard. <gasps> oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, the scenic route postcard, which you know what? Speaking of, hang on just a second. If you want to see a preview of what the scenic route oh, postcard boy. is going to. Oh, wait, you know what? Hang on a second. Let me just, let me just, Here let me just do it. Let me just. Uh, Here we go. You know what? Mm-hmm. Hello and welcome to the Scenic Route, everybody, where we tell you about today's sponsor and where we used to hide Jay's honey. He's been furious with me and he just can't enjoy his morning coffee the same way, so I feel like I just have to let it go. Totally joshing with you guys. I'll never stop. Anyway. Today's video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post has actually been like one of my favorites for a very long time. I was a customer long before they ever sponsored the show. My most recent box was the soft shell cooler from the chill box. And I swear to you, I showed up at a bachelor party last weekend and got a compliment on it from every single person that was there. And I'm already scoping out the toss box for next month. It's this kind of like yard game that just looks like a blast on summer vacations. And if you would like to check it out for yourself and I highly 
highly recommend you do, you can head on over to boxofawesome.com where you'll take a quiz that helps them figure out which boxes will be best for you. And you can get 20% off your first box again when you go to boxofawesome.com and use promo code SUPER at checkout. Again, that is going to be boxofawesome.com, promo code SUPER at checkout. One last time, boxofawesome.com, promo code SUPER for 20% off. Link is in the description down below. When I was a kid, I used to do this thing with my hands because I thought it made it look like a, like an elephant. <coughs> Do you see it? Well, he's gone. <coughs> May as well tell you about today's sponsor, DoorDash. First things first. Don't catch on fire, little Riles. Anyway, DoorDash connects you with restaurants you love right to your door and right now. Whether it's a debate between Chinese or pizza and you realize the obvious answer is just both or whether you need some donuts for a new employee's first day or whether you just want to order a huge cake your brother can't eat during the ad read, DoorDash has you covered. Oh, <laughs> yes. I feel like they're getting bigger. It's dead simple too. You just open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want it, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contact-free delivery. Then all you need is to grab your trusty fork and dive right in. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Mm. I love this place so much. Get a little more. You want some, Ralph? I cannot stress it enough either. If you've never eaten a giant large cake like this without cutting slices, this is the best way to do it. And for a limited time, our viewers can get 25% off their first order and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you open the DoorDash app and use code JVersB2021. Again, that is 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees when you use code JVersB2021. Look, the fact of the matter is anyone who says you can't have your cake and eat it too just hasn't ordered a big enough cake cat. And you can get 25% off that cake when you use DoorDash and enter code JVerseB2021. And don't worry, it's only 25% off the price. It's still the whole cake or, or, or whatever you want to order. You could get something besides cake. I don't know why you would, but you, and you know, you do you. Ugh. Smells like donuts and or cake, depending on what we ended up ordering. Mm. When you ended up ordering. Mm. I'm not supposed to be a part of it. We work in the same office. It does not smell like donuts and or cake. I don't know what you're talking about. It smells like this lovely candle, mostly. It is a lovely candle and donuts and or cake. This question was submitted by Brandon and selected by patrons. Brandon. Question. Who does the night bus let off first before taking Harry to the leaky cauldron? Okay, I think I got it. I think I know this one. I think I know. I feel so smart. Watch we still be wrong. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Madam Marsh. Madam Marsh. Madam Marsh is correct. Yes. Excellent. She's like always on the bus whenever she, they are. Yeah, it's it's like one of the, it's well, it happens twice. Yeah. But it's like it is funny that it's so many books apart and it's the same person. Yeah, like she clearly uses the service all a the lot. time. Yeah. I you know have she's two got a hot pickles. water bottle. It's kind of weird it happened twice, right? <laughs> Question seven. When Harry celebrated his 17th birthday while staying with the Weasleys, what birthday gift did Bill and Fleur give him? I got this one. I thinks. Me thinks. Three, two, one. A razor. A razor. An scooter. enchanted razor, yes. Yeah. Oh, not a scooter? No. <laughs> no, like for shaving. Yeah. Did, did you know that when I was a kid, I sold my Pokemon cards at Happy's Flea Market? Yeah. All of my rares. All, all of them. them. For $75 and went and bought a razor scooter. Think of the number of razor scooters you could have today had you sat on those rares. I know. Oh. One, of, one of my dear friends recently gave me his Pokemon cards to sell on eBay. 16 of them sold for $1,000. Not each, in total. In total, but still. You know, my $16,000. How much is the average cost of a current Razor scooter with red grips? 1,000 divided by that number. Mm. Put it on screen, Riley. <laughs> wow. Whoa! Exactly as so many, many as I expected. 11.3. Oh, 
That'd be impressive if you're right. Wow, that's a total guess. Question eight. How much money did Mr. Weasley win in the daily profit draw to take his family to uh, Egypt man, over the summer? This question. This question. This question. Has this question wronged you before? It, like, has. it has wronged us it before. Has. Okay. Okay, I'm just going with what feels right because I I've been I've felt the pain of this question before. Yeah, I think I've got it wrong. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be the classic Harry Potter situation, but three, two, one. 1,000 galleons. 800 galleons. Well, I think it's 700. I, I don't know why It is 700. God, why did I write that? We were both, we both knew. I know, we yeah, were like, like, no, no, no. <laughs> why well, do what's obvious? I knew it was do. seven, but I wrote a 1,000. I'm pretty sure it's seven. Uh, <laughs> I hate this quiz. How much can it cost to travel to Egypt? Can't they like flu powder that? Like, shouldn't it be cheap to travel everywhere? Jay, a pyramid tour is priceless. And does seem like they, didn't they come like close up to zombies or something? Maybe. Down there? Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe Ron bought a charm <laughs> to prevent zombies from attacking? <sighs> Whatever. It shouldn't have cost 700 guys, is all I'm saying. That's Excuse a thousand me. watts. It's so many. I think. No, wait, 100 watts. 100 watts. 100 watts. Yeah. <laughs> nah, That's how budget. math works. We but don't like, pay that budget around here, Ethan. We sure don't. We sure don't. Unless it comes to Razor scooters, in which case we do. <laughs> Tune in next time when we have 11.3. <laughs> Gonna sell that big stack of Pokemon cards <sighs> to buy one Razor scooter. No, none of those are worth anything. Yeah, you have enough of them, though. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> mm, just go by bulk at this point. And now for the final Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. This question, however, was submitted by Peyton Vo and selected by patrons. Question. What historical event did Florian Fortescue teach Harry about over the summer he spent in Diagon Alley? I would like you to know, Peyton, that your name was on the short list for our baby. Oh, was it? It was. Wow. Didn't make the cut, though. It did not ultimately make the cut, but it was on the list. Okay. Well, there you go. Ben's child confirmed not named Peyton. Confirmed. That's what we know. That's what we know, people. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Goblin Rebellions. Goblin. Medieval Witch Burnings. Wow. Are you serious? That's was, what the question says. We can take it up with the quiz master. Medieval Witch Burnings. Goblin Rebellions was an answer in the multiple choice, but... Agatha, all along. It was, it used to be Goblin Rebellions, and then Agatha went and changed the sacred timeline and altered it because it was so irrelevant. The TVA didn't show up ah. because it didn't cause any deviation because it doesn't matter. Okay. That's, that makes sense. World's or it was an apocalypse. <laughs> or, it was, or it was, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I guess it could have been. Could have been. But there were some pretty small apocalyptic events depicted. Like Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius? Yeah. Destroyed one city, and that's considered an apocalypse. Oh, I see. The Goblin Rebellions could have totally been an apocalypse. They totally could have been. Yeah. If it's I'm going to just go put that on the board real quick. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Okay. Now we just need Disney to buy Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> crossing, crossing the universe is people. I mean, the multiverse has to include Harry Potter. Could Daniel Radcliffe ever be a Marvel character? Oh. If so who would he be? He would not be a bad Mr. Fantastic. Ooh, I could see it. I could see it. Yeah, okay, I'm in. I'm in for Daniel Radcliffe Fantastic. Okay. Daniel Fantastic, as I'll be calling him from now on. Same. Yeah. They could just get, they could just get Rupert Grint to be the Human Torch, you know? We'll get Emma Watson as the Invisible Woman, and uh, Tom Felton to be the thing. <laughs> It feels like Rupert Grant would be the thing and Tom Felton would be the human torch. That does feel, yeah, you're right. Okay, switch those two. Tom Felton, human torch. Everyone's British now. I'm in. Yeah. Would watch. Question nine. When Hermione and Harry stayed with the Weasleys before their sixth year, what gave Hermione a black eye? You're writing a lot more than feels necessary. It doesn't feel like that many words were needed. Okay. Okay. Right. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Oh, sorry. three, two, one. A telescope that punches you when you look through it. A 
Punch that is correct. Oh, punching telescope was a much more succinct way to say that. <laughs> yeah. Technically, a punching telescope is what's written. The final question. Question 10. Who lent Arthur Weasley the tents they took to the Quidditch World oh, Cup? Oh, son of a... Uh, manatee. I got this. I know this one. I at least, I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, no. Can, will, is the tie in play? Oh, no, Ben. <laughs> What do you got? Uh oh, he's writing something. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, come on, glasses. Three, two, one. Perkins. Perkins oh, is you correct. Got it. Ah! Perkins. Yes. The old warlock. I'm not sure what distinguishes someone between wizard and warlock. Me neither. That's a Ben well, win. That's a Ben win. That never happens, you guys. It's the glasses. Maybe I get that. Next time I'm wearing two pairs of glasses. Do it. That's what's happening. Do it. Get ready. Maybe I get to have some cake this time. <laughs> what cake? I don't know what you're talking about. What? Or donuts? You said cake. Or donuts. Nobody. Guys, as ever, let us know how you did in the towel section down below. Did you keep up? Did you know all the things that we didn't know? We need to know. I feel like probably you did beat us, but you know who's not going to beat us in trivia, Ben, is MuggleNet. Tomorrow night, Harry Potter Showdown. Don't let today's performance fool you. Those MuggleNetters are going down. 7 p.m. tomorrow night here on the main channel. SCV versus MuggleNet, the throwdown of the century. Shall wear my glasses? Yeah, definitely wear the glasses, Ben. <sighs> okay, okay. Yeah, for sure. We got this. Okay, it's we got be, it. We, it's, it's definitely. On. I'm so confident. Definitely. Be there. Scroots. That's what we're calling it. It's going to be fun. And we're raising money. Oh, yes, we're raising money for charity. You can already donate, probably on the side of this video if you want to. And now a special thank you to these patrons who support us over on Patreon. Yes, thank you so much for all of your amazing quiz master questions, which dare I say were so much better than the actual quiz questions. Oh, without a doubt. With without a doubt. Yes. I basically only take the regular quizzes at this point, pretty much so we can have the quiz master questions. I mean, the yes, that's absolutely the point. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're, they're very good, especially the one from that person oh, right yeah. there. Oh yeah, really yeah. great submission. Right, right. Really, really good. Hard. Also guys, don't forget you can check out our magical candles over at carlinbrotherscoffee.com. Inside of each candle is a collectible little tiny magical charm that is super neat and fun. Plus they smell amazing. They do, this one's called broomstick handle and it's my favorite. Also, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't hit that like button yet, do it right now and subscribe so you don't miss any future J versus Ben action from us. If you want to see whether or not there could have been eight Voldemorts. You can check out this video right here. Or if you'd like to hear more of Ethan's voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, which he hosts with our brother Tyler by clicking right here. But until next time, bye! bye.